we're taking off from the Dabney Rec Center and we're heading toward the Enclave. So we're traveling down Chandler uh, Drive. You see that there's a stick-built home on the right-hand side there. It's going up. A couple of them. And this is the Enclave. We're going to make a left on um, Lake Denham Drive and take us back. It's Lake Denham Drive is six-tenths of a mile, and you have this area in the back there called the Enclave. And it's uh, called an Enclave because it's a, it's a grouping of homes that's separate from everything else. Looks like it's, only, it's in its own area. It's on some elevated ground, I assume, and uh, surrounded by wetlands. So probably no building around it. Here it is. This is, we're going to make a left now on uh, Chandler Drive. Again, this is six tenths of a mile long. It'll take you back to the entrance of the Enclave. So this is a very isolated area and um, it's going to be unique. The homes are all very large. They seem to be all concrete block stucco homes, at least so far. There's not a lot of them built yet, maybe seven or eight. And uh, when we fly over them, and I think initially we're going to drive around on a bicycle and quickly, and then we'll fly over the area. Check out the size of the homes. They are huge. And um, I don't think there are any more lots for sale. I checked the website, and I mean, things are happening so fast. I checked the website two weeks ago, and a lot of lots were available in Dabney. And two weeks later, they were all gone. So homes are selling like hotcakes, literally. And uh, even with the high interest rates, things are moving quickly here. Okay, so we're going to get on a bicycle soon. So this is a CBS home, concrete block and stucco, which means it's a probably a designer home. Tilt wall gives you a concrete wall, but the perimeter is fixed. If you take a picture, it looks nice. Oh, the house is huge. Curbing is in, but they don't have the uh, stormwater lines blocked off. All the sand is going to run down there and block those up. Oh, here they are. Those are blocked off. It looks like another concrete block and stucco home to the right. Pretty big. Another one straight ahead to the left. CBS home. Boy, you know, you look on the map, this area doesn't look that big. But boy, it's big. I just have to make sure I don't get lost in here. Again. Now we'll circle back and ride around Dabney. Lake Denim a little before we head out. Oops. working today. Usually they don't work on Sundays. 
Well, if you want to buy a home in the villages, feel isolated, this is going to be it. This is it. No, I don't think you can get a lot of traffic back here. A lot of noise. Every one of these homes is CBS. I could go that way, but the road looks too sandy. I think it probably goes out there along the trees. So why did they just build on this enclave and not the entire area? I suspect, I don't know this, but I suspect that there's too much wetlands to fill in. If they wanted to build on more. Oh, you can sand over here. Gotta be careful. No sudden turns. And then we made it out. Okay, well, we're beginning our flyover now of the Enclave. And um, it looks doesn't look as big from the air as it does when you're riding it in your, either your car or your bike. And you can see there's a few homes have come up. Some of them are pretty large. The one on the left is huge. And um, you have three or four more, one, two, three, four, five more toward the back or west side. And um, all of the homes back here are concrete block and stucco. And they all seem to be on pretty large lots. And the homes themselves appear to be pretty large. Here's a car riding around. You can see uh, the rest of the uh, Dabney and Lake Denham to the left, top. So why did they only build in this area? As I mentioned before, if you'll see as we fly over the boundaries here that um, there's a lot of wetlands around and um, probably too costly to fill the land in than it, than it would be to buy additional land that's adjacent to the rest of the villages. Which Here's this house here, which is, look how big that is on the lower right-hand side of the screen. Uh, now I think they, if you look at the road that we uh, came in on, it looks like they had to truck in dirt to build that up. So this was probably a high spot in, the, in this area that um, uh, they were able to access by building the road up to it. Okay, we've come to the, and there's the road you see that we uh, flew over on our way in. And now we're gonna head back to the regular part of Dabney, south of the Enclave. And you can see the wetlands here, and clearly they can't easily build on this stuff without trucking in a lot of dirt, and that's just not economically uh, feasible to do that. It's probably, as I said, cheaper to build on land that they could buy adjacent to the villages, like the Secret Promise, for example. Secret Promise is going to be just uh, south of Dabney and Lake Denham. And um, it's another 3,747 3, acres that the, uh, the villages acquired. It's all going to be part of this area. And um, it's, just, um, it's just continuing. Now we're, we, uh, we're flying back to, you see the, the Dabney Rec Center there, the pool, now going off screen to the left, and pickleball courts and tennis courts. And that's uh, Chandler Drive. Chandler Drive ties into Megason, which goes all the way to Brownwood. And you can see these homes are being worked on. Doesn't look like uh, these are complete yet. Some of them might be occupied. Now these, you can see all the workers' trucks outside. Some of them uh, are occupied. On my bike ride through, I, I met somebody who was uh, coming out of their house and, uh, and I asked him how long they've uh, lived there and he said two days. So homes are settling in Dabney right now and um, it'll probably be maybe through March, April that this uh, construction here will continue. 
And now we're getting close to either uh, on the left hand side there you see Megasyn. No, not right now. I zoomed in. Those are all wetlands uh, to the right. There's a Megasyn where it's going into Route 470, the left hand side of the screen. So somewhere uh, around here is the boundary between uh, Lake Denham and Dabney. I could see it on the map, but I could never really find it when I'm flying over it. My guess is that some of these homes are occupied there. You see some in the center of the screen, you see a house where it looks like cars are in the driveway. And in the distance, you see the line of trees. That's the boundary with Sumter County. And then soon on the left-hand side, uh, there at the, near the top center of the screen, that's the boundary with uh, Newell. That's the Mickey Lee, um, or the putting course, and the, um, the chip and putt. It looks like if you look at the boundary here of um, the homes, you can see they built it up. There's a wall, retaining wall. So those are lowlands and wetlands uh, on the boundary of this, uh, these properties. So I think if, the, if, the, if they could have built in that area, they would have, but my guess is it's just a little too low and too wet. And there's the, in the distance there, just at the top of the screen is the um, pitching, pitching putt and the putting course. I think we start to turn around here and head our way uh, uh, back. Now certainly these homes are occupied. I did, um, you can see the cars in the driveways. Some more wetlands here in the center of the screen. And that's uh, Megasyn. And then beyond that, where the tree line is, that's uh, 470. I'm not sure at what point it's called Central Parkway, but uh, I'm going to call it Route 470. Yeah, these homes are uh, probably designer homes. They're spread far apart. You'll see on the right hand side, left hand side, near the top, cluster of homes there. Those are smaller homes where they're uh, kind of packed in. Some more wetland areas in the middle. So that road you see on the right, top right there, which comes off of Route 470 and then comes in and turns left and heads down to the right side of the screen. That was an original road here that was used by the Leesburg Water Department to access the road. I, I suspect that'll all be filled in at some point and not used anymore. You see the homes on the left, they're clearly different. These right here on the screen are higher density for sure. That's Route 470 on the right hand side where it curves around to the right. Top left hand side of the screen is, um, I believe that's Lake Denham or that could be Lake Harris. And on the left hand, top left hand side of the screen, you see the Enclave. Uh, 
Yeah, that's that's Lake Harris. That you see in the top left hand side of the screen. You can see the further uh, east and south we go, the the more work that needs to be done. You see some cranes in the distance, probably putting up some tilt wall homes. Some more wetlands here on the screen. Now these clearly are, there's a lot of construction going on here. This section is uh, probably a month or two away from being uh, occupied. And we're passing the Dabney Rec Center on the left and Mail Stop. Then in the center of the screen, I'll point this out later uh, with a red arrow and then also when I drive by it at the end looks like there's a section, a rectangular section, that they're not developing with homes, and it's uh, fenced off, and you can see it at the top of the screen. That looks like it might be a um, commercial area, maybe a strip mall. Um, I doubt it's uh, food stores, because the food stores are only a, a mile and a half down the road. There's a Publix and a Winn-Dixie, but it could be a strip mall. There it is right there. And the gates to enter, here it is, uh, we're gonna drive by, and now we're going down Chandler Drive, heading toward Route 470. We're gonna make a left on 470, and you'll see we're heading east toward Leesburg, Route 27 and Route 33. And you'll see this area is fenced off, and my guess is eventually it'll become commercial area. It's pretty large. Can definitely fit a bunch of stores in there. Maybe pharmacy will be put in here. A lot of pharmacies are shutting down, as you know. So, and then these homes here are more near completion than further west. So it's kind of unusual that they went east here to do some construction. You know, there's Lake. Harris on the upper right, and there's Lake Denham there beyond the Enclave. You can see the Enclave again. I don't know if I mentioned it, but it's uh, six-tenths of a mile on Lake Denham Drive to get from uh, Chandler Drive into the Enclave. And straight ahead, in the center of the screen now, is the, the pool for the Dabney Rec Center. And just we just went over a... Uh, stick-built home, which is, and there's another one I think you can see in the distance. So there's a couple of large stick-built homes here, which kind of unusual. I'm not sure why they, they've done, they did that, why the uh, people chose to put up a stick-built home, maybe because of uh, the uh, lower expense. There it is, that's the pool. And uh, thanks for watching. If um, you want to subscribe and click like, and um, see you in the next one.